to me today because this is from the New York Times. And this is in their art section. And it got me thinking, we're always so worried. Is my painting right? Am I botanically correct? Do people know what, do people care? No, people don't care. It's all about you and finding your joy and expressing what's inside of you. And that's what I love about brush painting. And that's why I left Western watercolor and Western oil painting. So I could just have fun and play. So in this article, it, it seems that there are a lot of sales going on in New York. So here's an Impressionist painting. And this is how this artist, who is this artist? Um, oh, Van Gogh. Okay, so this is how, this could be prior, this could be before the ear was cut off. I don't know, I'm not sure. But remember, he did not sell a single painting, maybe one painting, his entire life. Okay, He's and right. today, millions and millions of dollars because we go, wow, we're loving it. Okay, so maybe he was ahead of his time. Maybe he didn't understand commerce. Who knows what the reason is. Okay, so again, in the weekend art section, there are so many things. There's so many, there's so much art for sale. And here's something from Painting and Beyond. I'm not quite sure, I haven't read the article yet. I'm not quite sure what the beyond is, but it's Painting and Beyond. And then we have this, uh, we have a spider. I'm not going to show you the full sculpture. And, Ooh. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so here we have, okay, oh, I, I wish I could buy this. Let's see how much I need. I will need, ah, like $18 million. Oh, God. Well, you just so it's a Toulouse Lautrec, and here's, uh, I think, William de Kooning, yes. So we have a William de Kooning here. And I know, see, wide mouth gasp, and a Toulouse Lautrec. I want the Toulouse Lautrec. I want to buy this painting, <laughs> but I, I, I think I'm a couple million short. Just a couple. Million. So you could paint the painting. Who knows? You could. You, the thing is, no. Now this is a good observation. So Dion says, well, you could do that. No, because all right, there are some artists who have such a good eye that they earn a living just by copying masterworks and selling them. And hopefully it, they attribute them to themselves and not selling them as the real thing. But the reason why you can't is what I'm trying to show you today is we have two famous artists, but look how different. Because this is how they saw the world. Yeah. This is how they saw the world. All right. So let me see. All right, so we have unpredictable depths and decisions, lots of decisions to make. And then here, one of my artists at the Huntington, I don't want to change a thing about what she does. And I call her my Cy Twombly, Monica Dagger, because she paints just like Cy Twombly. And it what can, is that? Sorry. Well, here's one of the, <laughs> Here's a Cy Twombly. It will go for several million dollars. You know, it's for sale, okay? And he just went for it. He did what I want us to be able to do. I want us to just go for it. And to remember, it's a piece of paper. And to express yourself. Because but it's consistently the same thing over and over and over in what I perceive there. Okay, kind of. Okay, all right. It, it is and it isn't. So kind of like a Jackson Pollock, you look at it and you go, well, that's a bunch of dribbles, but yet try and do it. Okay, has anyone ever tried to do it? Okay, mm -hmm. it's not that easy. And Picasso thought, because he was classically trained, but his aim was to paint like a child. Mm -hmm. That is not easy to do. No. Okay, so my point in all of this is for us to remember, okay, this is wonderful. <laughs> here's something at the, got it all. Here, here's some, right, exactly, this issue has it all. This is something, it's an exhibit at the Guggenheim, and it's entitled, The Trauma of Painting. <laughs> is that hysterical? Yeah. The Trauma of Painting. I like that one more. I uh, okay, all right, nice. but the point Individual. being, okay, the point being that, it's your journey. Yes. 
I, I would rather it not be a trauma for you. Seriously. Let's just not get so serious. Here's this from Painting and Beyond a Return. Well, I mean, for my taste, okay, it's kind of a hot mess. I'd have to really see this. Okay. I must go to New York and really look at this painting because... What does it call itself? I, I have no clue. I'm just, I'm, I'm not quite sure. All right. But it doesn't matter because this is this particular artist, how they see life, how they express their soul. Okay. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. And that's why we come to brush painting. Yes. Okay. 